What's happening, automotive man? It's Peter Von Bandy here. Just picked this up. It's a Fastlink M2 Bluetooth by JDIAG uh, ODB reader, code reader. And basically, it's just a, just the reader itself. Looks like it comes with some instructions and a card here that plugs into your OBD port. It has a Bluetooth capability, so it will pair with your phone. Now, even though I think once you get this set up, you can actually use any of the OBD diagnostic apps, what they do have here is a QR code so that you can go scan the manual uh, or get the manual or get the app itself. Now, there is a JDIAG FASLINK M2 app in the, at least iOS app store, so you can absolutely use that, which is what I'm going to try to do. So I'm going to download this, plug it into the car, get it connected, and see if we can get some OBD diagnostics from my car. Let's try it out. Back in the trusty terrain here, I'm going to throw the JDAG in the OBD port down here. Find it by feel. Got it in. And maybe we'll see it down there. I'm going to go ahead and power on just the accessories. And grab my phone here. And the FazLink is available for pairing. FazLink M2 app. And open this bad boy up. It is. So, oh, there's just instructions here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit start. And sure, speech recognition, why not? Access the microphone, sure, why not? All right, so we're in the FASLINK app. So let's just go ahead and hit trouble codes here. And it says the function requests the engine to be turned on. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fire the sucker all the way up. All right. And all right. Wow, no trouble codes, which is Correct. Let's just take a look at some of the other things that we have here. Uh, battery test. It says good. I don't know why I got that little error warning. So it seems like this JDAG FastLink has a lot of info here. A lot more options and stuff that's available than kind of in those standard handheld scanners. So it's definitely another way to go. Pretty small and simple. A great tool to have if you're a garage or mechanic. But uh, that's just a quick tour of it. So on the GMC it seems to work all right. Check it out. I'll put a link to it in the description. Peter Brown panned out.